Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll talk about three mid-cap stocks which are really performing good in the market. They've got very good consistent track records. They've been providing a great CAGR for the past uh, 10 years. And uh, these companies are like uh, really good in the market. And they've been like opted by the FIIs, DIIs, mutual funds, also the individual investors. So without further delay, let's get started on this. And uh, I do note that this is not any stock recommendation by any means. This is just a small analysis which I have done among the list of mid-cap companies. The first company that we are going to look at is uh, about uh, the uh, pharmaceutical sector. So the pharma sector, they are the prominent players in the Indian pharma industry and they are operating in uh, three different core sectors which is in, like developing, manufacturing as well as in um, marketing them globally. So uh, we've got about uh, different sectors where they've been working on. So the first segment is going to be your pharmaceutical segments where they are uh, generating about uh, uh, generic specialty medicines and they also co do contract manufacturing as well. Key market is in North America, Europe and India are also its biggest market. And uh, they also make a proprietary drug. They make discovery of that. And they spend a lot of uh, investment money into their R&D department. And uh, they are one of the companies uh, who also involved in uh, uh, partnership with others, also in licensing up new projects or in new inventions. So they are uh, in type, tied up with your uh, global pharmaceutical companies in drug discovery. And uh, they also share cost with all these companies and in revenue sharing models as well. And they also are into life sciences, creating up uh, agrochemical kind of uh, products also in uh, pharma ingredients. So they make the basic core ingredients as well, so which they can distribute it to other companies. And uh, they are also in uh, healthcare and diagnostic services too. And uh, by now, I think you guys would have got about the name of this company. Yes, the company is none other than uh, Jubilant Pharmova. So this company is one of the leaders in this. They are having a very good uh, high margin business. And uh, their uh, key to success would be is in their uh, uh, specialty drugs, also in generic medicine, also in these uh, basic core elements, like we, we call it as APIs. And uh, they're uh, also in um, huge investor into your uh, R&D departments, into uh, new discovery of uh, medicines. And uh, if you see the historical trends of this company, they've got a very good uh, time record. So uh, Jubilant has got a very good stock performance and their financial data are like really great. If you see in the screen here, uh, the company has got uh, a market cap of 19,000 crores and uh, they have gotten a very good dividend yield of 0.41%, uh, which means like for about every thousand rupees you invest in them, you are definitely going to get like rupees four as a dividend back from them. So the company is like trading at a price of about uh, 1,200 range. And uh, this was like yesterday's close price. So today it would be definitely like boosting up. Yesterday there was a rise of about 7% in this. And uh, the current price of the stock is uh, somewhat lesser than the all time high value. And uh, the ROCE is like 6.75%, which is uh, really good. And the DIA holding is like 5.6. So that's again a good number. And if you see the uh, last one year's performance of the company, the company is always trading over 50 DMA. You'll be able to see that uh, there was once a correction when it went uh, or it touched the 50 DMA and there was always a pullback which is happening on the stock. So this is again like uh, last week, it was a correction in the market. So it again touched the 50 DMA, it again started bouncing back. So this is a really good company in the pharma sector and they're like going up greater heights. And uh, if you see, could uh, see here the, the company's uh, margins are also like really good. You could see the operating profit is like uh, roughly about 289 crores for this quarter. And um, there's a screener report which is given and the expected uh, results of this. We'll be see that uh, the trialing rate of this company profit is almost 1000 crores. And they're expecting is to be like almost uh, 1064 crores and the best case scenario. In the worst case scenario, it could roughly go about 931 crores, but the company is already in a trialing range of 1030 crores. So we can definitely expect this uh, uh, price uh, EPS of the share to be uh, into this range. And the uh, company is also running up with a net profit of 349 crores in the uh, current scenario. So the company is like going up really good on this uh, current status and you could see that the sales growth of the company from the past uh, few years or you could see here. So uh, the company is like growing up in good shape and uh, 
if you happen to see the other uh, values here the stock's price uh, CAGR has increased by about 25% uh, year on year and uh, by 20% uh, for the past 5 years and the last one year the company had a tremendous growth of about 213% so this was a huge run up from uh, jubilant and the company is like still going up into greater heights if you see the uh, NI, FIIs and DIs holdings you will be able to see that uh, the company has got uh, the DIS holdings has increased the FIIs have pulled out their funds so you could see that there's a decrease in the value there are 2% so whatever the FIIs have pulled out the DIS have already like put it back here into this and uh, there's an increase in the uh, mutual fund holdings as well you could see that mutual funds also has hold it up and uh, so these are some of the mutual fund companies who hold this and um, there are a lot of weightage of almost 2% uh, held by almost all the mutual fund companies and uh, the dividend the company is like giving up is like a really good one and uh, the company's uh, p ratio is also really good you could see here the company's uh, the sector p is like 51 percent and the uh, company's individual p is uh, Sixty-seven point eight. The company has got a very good PE range as well because you could see the PE of the stock is sixty-seven percent and uh, the sector PE is like fifty-one. So the PE ratio, if it is under thirty, that's going to be a really good value. But here it's going to be like twice of that. But still, it is going to be really good because considering the company's uh, sales growth as well as their uh, ROC, that's a, like a fair value which is like uh, placed up in a very decent score. And the uh, dividend yield of the company is again 0.41% comparing with that of the sector which is 0.51%. So this is going to be the first company that is going to be uh, involved in this list. So the second company that is going to be on this list is again a securities depository company. So they provide as depository services and they provide services to investors and brokers and other financial institutions in India. So besides that they help you in maintenance and transferring of securities from account to account and uh, their main uh, services is going to be the core depository services where they do uh, DMAT account maintenance so they hold and transfer uh, um, electronically through DMAT accounts reducing the uh, uh, risk of physical certificates and they do security settlements as well and uh, their target audience are definitely going to be retailers like us as well as institutional investors and brokerage firms as well as custodians and besides that uh, they also provide value added services like uh, KYC of customers and e-services to investors and uh, they also provide uh, um, their other services which is into educational institutions and stuff and um, the main source of revenue is going to be your account maintenance fee and uh, the transaction charges which they do for every transactions that we do and uh, they also charge for the KYC as well as the e-services. So the company that we are going to talk about here is uh, going to be CDSL so that's your central depository services limited and the company has got a very good uh, stock PE the stock P is uh, almost 60% and if you happen to see here uh, the uh, sector C stock P is like 17% though it's uh, higher than uh, what we are uh, having the sector average they are uh, already automatically substantiated by their market cap because they are having a market cap of 32,000 crores and they have a very healthy ROC of 40% and uh, it's a very good company which is held by DIAs and it's often loved by FIIs too so if you happen to see the holdings of this company you could see that uh, foreign institutions they have got this uh, value of 13% uh, and the DIAs have increased up their stake on this company and uh, mutual funds also hold this company so this is one of the uh, greatest company which has been held by almost uh, top uh, mutual fund companies as well so they have been held by uh, all the leading uh, mutual fund companies and this company also has a very good uh, track record here if you happen to see the chart of this you can see that uh, the company is like trading always above 50 DMA for the past uh, few years and you could see here that uh, in this chart um, the company is um, having a very good uh, operating margin so you could see the profit of this company is almost about uh, 632 crores in the current scenario and uh, as a best case scenario it will be definitely 720 crores even in the worst case it's going to be 623 crores 
and uh, this is the uh, company's uh, sales growth. You could see that the sales of the company has automatically increased for the past uh, three years or five years or 10 years in that sake. And uh, the price to earning ratio of the company is again like around 60% in the past years. And this is the uh, scenario of uh, CDSL. And if you compare this with uh, your other uh, peers in the market, if you could be see that if it is a BSE or if it is KFintech and stuff. So these are also like other good companies. We'll have them for another days of discussion. But uh, coming to CDSL, they have got a very good uh, quarterly reports to the company has been uh, providing a greater uh, results. And you could see the September quarter sales results also like increasing day after year. And uh, the companies, a lot of DMAT accounts have been holder created up in this uh, quarter of this. And I uh, could see that the comp company's um, last five years of uh, CAGR is like 68%. In the last one year, the company has given 100% of run-up. And the uh, return on equity is uh, roughly about 30% on an average. And this is the balance sheet of the company. You could see that uh, the company is uh, showing up healthy uh, reserves on this. And um, the cash flow of this company is also like investing increasingly uh, day after day. And these are the uh, shareholding patterns from um, FIIs and DIs. So this is one of the preferred company from uh, both the mutual funds as well as DIs and FIIs. So uh, you could hold this as well in your uh, portfolio. So the next company in the list is going to be a wealth management company. So they are in the uh, process in the business of uh, broking and uh, trading. And uh, they're also an uh, investment advisor as well as your uh, SEBI registered uh, people. And uh, besides that, the company is into uh, wealth management for uh, all HNIs and all um, high profile uh, users in the market. And this company, um, they are the leading investment service provider in India and they have got a very comprehensive financial solutions partner because their uh, strong focus is on only uh, HNI and ultra HNI segments. And uh, they also have the digital approach first because uh, nobody believes in uh, uh, filling up forms and signing up data so it's all all digitized and everything and their core business is in um, uh, investment advisory and wealth management services to HNIs and ultra HNI customers and they also provide a personalized financial solutions and uh, basically their portfolio management company and they also do risk assessment and tax planning for them and besides that uh, they are an asset management company they have got a very good uh, mutual fund management team and uh, they also got uh, alternative investment products and uh, they also do individual PMSs too. And besides that, they've got doing a little bit of brokerage services too, where they've got an equity and derivatives trading and uh, R&D services too. They are providing advisory services too. And their source of income is going to be from their advisory services and management fees and brokerage income. And uh, their um, customers are someone who are uh, worth more than 50 crores. And there's mostly like, um, customers who are uh, looking out for uh, portfolio management services and wealth advisory and they've got a very strong uh, brand recognition in the market and they've got a very uh, huge uh, pan india presence and uh, they've got a very nice uh, relationship manager too and uh, besides that uh, with the growing hna population in india companies like this are mostly preferred or sought by users and they automatically try to catch up users attention so um, if you know the name of this company, do leave a comment quickly in the uh, comments box now. So the company is none other than Nuama Capital Management. So this company was uh, formed in uh, 1993 and uh, they are again uh, into your trading services and stuff. So this company is um, going up really good and uh, this is one of the um, companies which has been um, mostly um, preferred by everyone. So if you could see the company's uh, uh, P it's uh, like exactly in the range of 30 which is the most uh, ideal number for a stock PE. The sector PE is like roughly uh, 17 but it's almost twice of that because this company's market cap is like 25,000 crores and uh, and uh, the ROC is like 16% and uh, the dividend yield is like 2% so for every thousand you invest you're going to get 2 rupees as your uh, dividend for this and this company has been consistently paying their dividends too and if you see the holding pattern of this company this is again uh, company which is held by a lot of foreign institutions you could see that the FIS have increased their uh, investment on this this quarter and um, again your DIS they also increase up their stake mutual funds they have again increased up their stake so everyone is like investing on this company so this is one of the uh, gem in your mid cap sector and um, these are some of the companies which are uh, mutual funds which are holding up uh, these uh, 
stock in their portfolio and uh, the stock is not in the uh, overbought or oversold zone so the RSA is like fairly okay and the stock is always trading above a 50 DMA it is never in the descending curve so it's always on the bullish curve and uh, you could see that the volumes are also increasing so this was like recent increase uh, I think this would have been triggered by your FIA's purchase recently and uh, it's like going up to greater heights after that and uh, this company is having a healthy uh, financial ratio too and if you happen to see here that um, their operating profit is roughly around uh, 1900 crores and a uh, best case scenario this is roughly expected to go to 2200 crores and uh, this company is again giving up a very nice run up for the money that you invest in them you happen to see here that this company has given a, a nice stock price increase of 143 percent in this last five year and um, the ROE on this company for the last year is like 24 percent and this company is expected to grow even higher uh, as per uh, the market predictions or how this company is being like loved by all the FIIs and DIs and um, this is my small comparison of uh, these three stocks in the mid cap sector and if you like this comparison or this analysis of the stocks do leave your comments below and if you hold these stocks in your portfolio do leave your comments as well and if you prefer any other stocks for me to compare and discuss about it do leave the comments on that too and um, happy Diwali to everyone and I'll catch you up in the next video thanks for watching